Today, information is available at our fingertips, and we can take mobile computing with us to teach and learn anywhere in the world. But while mobile technology expands our world for education, to what extent does this technology serve the public interests? What values are intentionally or unintentionally reinforced by the technologies we use? How are our technologies changing us without our even realizing it? To answer these questions, the critical theory of technology can help us. This theory sees technology not just as a thing, a neutral object, rather it understands technology through the context and conditions in which it's designed, and the power relationships that structure and regulate its use. It attends to how political and moral values come along with those technologies, and it promotes technology design that democratizes rather than centralizes control, with the goal of promoting greater equity and social justice for all. Andrew Feenberg, faculty member and Canada Research Chair at Simon Fraser University in British Columbia, Canada, has written about critical theory of technology since the 1990s. Feenberg argues that there is a value in design, a central place for values when we judge the quality and acceptability of technology and its systems. Technology is never value neutral because it is always a product of its context, who made it, why it was made, and how it was intended to be used. Values shape how we design technology, and our design practices reinforce those values. In Feenberg's view, to promote the values we care about, we must use more than technical standards, which are underpinned by rationality and utility, to assess technology design and use. Take data collection, for example. Corporations and governments use mobile devices to collect various forms of personal data. From a purely rational or utility-based perspective, this data is beneficial for understanding the various features of a population to predict future behaviors and patterns of activity. But how much of this personal data have we agreed to be collected, and how will it be collected? What will be done with this data, and who has access to it? How can we ensure that this data will be used to serve us rather than exploit us? Mobile devices have blurred the boundaries between collecting data for the public interest with corporate or government surveillance interests. The values that underpin our concerns with data collection, such as a right to privacy and consent, are not always built into the features of the technology that we use. Feinberg also proposes two models of technology design, a technocratic model of control and a democratic model of communication. In the technocratic model, technology is designed in isolation from the community, privileging values like authority and expertise. This model concretizes power in order to conserve and continue existing hierarchical power relations. The democratic model privileges democracy and plurality, and promotes technology design and use in a way that decentralizes hierarchies through social and environmental reforms. Of course, in reality, technology design is complex and iterative. Technology is not always used in the ways for which it was developed, and not everyone will share the same technocratic or democratic interests. So how, why, and in what ways we design and use technology is unpredictable and changing, because both depend on their contexts. This is Feinberg's idea of the social construction of technology, that technical design must be defined through the context of the society-technology relationship. Although technology design may privilege the actors that control the design process, new relationships between society and technology result in new designs, new uses, and new values. Are mobile technologies designed to promote what Feinberg describes as the technocratic or the democratic model? Well, SIM cards, which lock a mobile phone to the provider, are crucial for access to mobile networks. Operating software may offer offline functions, but most remain commercial and licensed. Even when cloud-based software allows for sharing, data can only be accessed through regulated broadband networks. So, although cloud computing appears to reduce IT infrastructure and mobile technologies may be more affordable than ever, ongoing proprietary issues, labor exploitation, and, and environmental concerns means that the mobile network industry still mostly reinforces the technocratic model. How then can mobile technology design and promote the values that are important to us? accessibility and affordability, but also privacy and informed consent. Values in technology design become the hidden curriculum of mobile-based education, shaping our engagement with the world and our understanding of ourselves within it. It is useful then to consider Feinberg's critical theory of technology and related concepts to, to ensure that we have mobile technology design that will reinforce the values that we want for today and for tomorrow. Created using Powtoon.